まだ目覚めの時ではないのに Welcome, RPG lovers. You're going to love today's show as we take a look at Game Arts in association with Studio Alex's December 22nd, 1994 mega CD hit, Luna Eternal Blue. Set 1000 years after the event of Silver Star, the game follows the adventures of Hiro, a young explorer and adventurer who meets Lucia, a visitor from a faraway blue star. Becoming entangled in her mission to stop Zulfar, an evil or powerful being from destroying the world. During their journey across the world of Luna, Hiro and Lucia are joined by an ever expanding cast of supporting characters, including some from its predecessor. For the Mega CD, this game has some mighty impressive animated sequences. The animation is fluid and the colors are perfect. All the audio is generated by the Mega CD, too. No CD audio here. Well, for the most part. Noriyuki Iwadare, who had previously co produced the music for Luna the Silver Star, also produced the amazing soundtrack for this game. あなた方が呼ぶ青き星よりやってきましたこの日は、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、ゲームアーツは、The world map is narrower and easier, and many dungeon structures have been slightly changed. There's also a change to the magic growth system by no longer using the point allocation system, and more. Even some of the voices have changed, and all the voice recordings are now much clearer. ヒッコクも早く。青木星にアルテナディスって。アルテナってメガミアルテナ様のことよね。どうしようヒーロー。ヒーローったら。綺麗だ。なんて綺麗な人なんだろう。
無駄です。Why didn't you tell me about that earlier? I did, but you were too wrapped up in getting the jewel to listen! Oh yeah, the jewel! Hold on, I've almost got it! The last port came to the PlayStation on May 27th, 1999. Although we are playing the English version by Working Designs, they came out on December 15th, 2000. This is basically a port of the Saturn game. The same animated sequences are here, but in quite a few cases look worse due to MPEG video compression looking more noisy than the Cinepack used on the Saturn version. This isn't always the case, but in many areas where the Saturn looks very clean, this looks messy. On the plus side, the dialogue boxes now look more pretty than the Saturn version, but the audio is slightly lower in quality. Not that you'd notice unless both were played side by side. What are you doing in this area? Who does this Joker think he is? My name is Hero, and this is Ruby. Identify yourself. Certainly, I am White Knight Leo. Versions of Lunar Eternal Blue running side by side. <laughs> 